Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are looking at another game of Mikhail Tal, which he played against Friston Thorbergson. In this game, Friston was playing as a white, so he started the game with the d4 and now knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, and now bishop to g7, e4. In these types of openings, black allows the white to build the center. And when he builds the center, later black can attack it with the d6 or e5, c5 move. Mikhail Tal played short castle and now f4 d6 preparing this c5 and e5 move knight to f3 c5 attacks the d4 pawn so white played d5 and mikhail tal again attacks the center with the e6 white played bishop to e2 e captures on d5 e captures on d5 and now mikhail tal played b5 white can capture this pawn with the knight and the pawn white played knight captures on b5 but let's see what happens if you play uh, c captures on b5 after c captures on b5 Mikhail Tal can play this bishop to b7 following this knight b to d7 then knight to b6 and that's how Mikhail Tal can build the pressure on the d5 square and that is the reason why white didn't play c captures on b5 in this position he played knight captures on b5 and Mikhail Tal played knight to e4 the plan is simple now if white play knight to c3 then knight captures on c3 b captures on c3 and after bishop captures on c3 this position would be winning for Mikhail Tal white White played short castle, a6 attacks the knight and now because this king is not on the even square, computer is suggesting now the best move for the white is to play knight to c3 and he should give up on his pawn but he didn't play this, white played knight to a3 and because of this move, now it's very hard for this knight to make a comeback in the game. Mikhail Tal played rook to a7, it's a very good move preparing this rook to e7. White played uh, bishop to d3 attacks the knight and Mikhail Tal saves it with the the rook to e7 and now knight to c2 rook f to e8 making the battery on the e open file and now rook to e1 knight to d7 knight to e3 knight d to f6 queen to c2 and now knight to h5 attacks the f4 pawn white saves it with the g3 move and now bishop to d4 in fianchetto structure no one wants to exchange his bishop for the knight but in this position mikhail tal has the solid reason and we will see that in some next move white played knight captures on d4 and after c captures on d4 he played knight to g2 so because of this bishop exchange now this knight is a bad piece for the white so mikhail tal continued the game with the brilliant knight to g5 sacrificing his knight white didn't accept it and he played a uh, rook to e7 but let's see what happens if you play f captures on g5 after f captures on g5 mikhail tal can play rook captures on e1 check and after knight captures on e1 rook captures on e1 check is winning for mikhail tal because white cannot move this bishop this rook is doing nothing in the game and mikhail tal can easily continue this game with the rook to e7 that's why in this position white didn't play f captures on g5 instead he play first rook captures on e7 and mikhail tal first give the check with the knight to h3 then king to f1 now rook captures on e7 bishop to d2 white has finally developed his last minor piece knight to f6 knight to h4 again this knight is looking for some good squares knight to g4 attacks the pawn on the h2 and now knight to f3 saves the pawn on the h2 so again in this position mikhail tal has played a brilliant rook to e3 sacrificing his rook again you cannot capture this rook uh, because of knight captures on e3 and that's how mikhail tal will win this queen that's why in this position white didn't capture the rook instead he played king to g2 but again mikhail tal has played a brilliant queen to e7 again sacrificing his knight and again you cannot capture this knight because of rook captures on d3 and if you play queen captures on d3 uh, then again knight to f2 check is winning for Mikhail Tal. That's why in this position white played uh, rook to e1. Now knight captures on f4 check. It's not a sacrifice. It's a simple piece trade because after g captures on f4 Mikhail Tal played rook captures on e1 knight captures on e1 and after queen to h4 Mikhail Tal is threatening the queen captures on h2 and queen to f2 check. And white cannot move this bishop out of this diagonal because of knight to e3 check. That's why white played bishop to c7 and now queen 
captures on e1. h3 attacks the knight and now knight to h6. f5 stop the video and try to find why white played the f5 move. It's simple because after knight captures on f5, uh, white can play bishop to f4 and that's how he can develop his bishop to the best square. But now it's too late because Mikhail Tal played knight to h4 check, uh, king to h2 and now knight to f3 check, uh, king to g2 and again in this position Mikhail Tal has sacrificed his two minor pieces in a single move with the bishop captures on h3 check. White played king captures on f3 but let's see what happens if in this position white played king captures on h3. After king captures on h3 Mikhail Tal can play queen to h4 check, uh, king to g2 and again knight to e1 is just winning for Mikhail Tal. That's why in this position he played king captures on f3 uh, but now queen to g1 the threat is simple Mikhail Tal wants to play the bishop to g4 check and after king to e4 f5 would be a checkmate that's why to stop this checkmate white played bishop captures on g6 sacrificing his bishop because after bishop to g4 check uh, king to e4 and after e5 white king can run to the d3 square Mikhail Tal continued the game with the queen to g4 check walking the king and the bishop uh, white played king to f2 but now queen captures on f4 check uh, king to g1 and after h captures on g6 white resigned in this position it's very simple because Mikhail Tal has this extra bishop and this extra passer pawn and that would be enough for Mikhail Tal to win this game and that is the reason why white resigned in this game so I hope you like this brilliant game of Mikhail Tal and if you like it please like this video subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content